Ikram Aliskarov has shared his thoughts following his first-round knockout loss to Robert Whitaker at UFC Saudi Arabia. Aliskarov, who stepped in as a late replacement after Kamzat Chimaev fell ill, faced the former UFC middleweight champion in a highly anticipated bout. Whitaker wasted no time in the octagon, delivering a powerful uppercut that stunned Aliskarov. The Dagestani fighter, who had previously only lost to Chimaev, was unable to recover. Whitaker capitalized on the opportunity, following up with ground strikes to secure a decisive victory, marking his second straight win. After the fight, Aliskarov took to his ex account to address the outcome, saying, No excuses. I don't regret anything. It was a big experience against one of the best in the sport. I'm young, I'll work on my mistakes, learn and get back into business soon. Thank you to everyone for the support messages. Aliskarov entered the fight on a seven-fight winning streak and had been seen as a rising star in the middleweight division. Despite the loss, he remains optimistic and determined to learn from the experience. The defeat to a seasoned veteran like Whitaker is seen as a valuable lesson for the young fighter, who is committed to improving and returning stronger. With this victory, Robert Whitaker has likely positioned himself as a backup option for the UFC 305 main event, which will feature current middleweight champion Dreykus Duplessis defending his title against Israel Adesanya in Perth. Whitaker's performance reaffirmed his status as a top contender in the division, ready to step in if needed. For Aliskarov, the focus now shifts to identifying and addressing the gaps in his game. The experience of facing a former champion like Whitaker will undoubtedly serve as a catalyst for growth. Fans can expect to see a more refined and prepared Aliskarov in his future bouts as he aims to climb back up the ranks of the middleweight division. In summary, while the loss to Whitaker was a setback for Aliskarov, it also provided him with an invaluable learning experience. His positive outlook and commitment to improvement suggest that he will return to the octagon better prepared for future challenges. The rivalry between UFC stars Conor McGregor and Michael Chandler continues to heat up, especially after McGregor's injury led to the cancellation of their highly anticipated main event at UFC 303. McGregor, who broke his toe during training, has been vocal about his eagerness to return to the octagon. He made an appearance at a Bellator event in Dublin, sparking reactions from fans and fighters alike. Michael Chandler, frustrated by the situation, took a shot at McGregor on social media. Chandler pointed out McGregor's recent appearance at the Three Arena in Dublin, where they were supposed to hold a press conference on June 3 before the fight was called off. Chandler's message read, Speaking of showing up to events, glad you finally made it to the Three Arena where the press conference was supposed to be June 3rd. Sweet slippers. Who's the Bellator tick now? This comment highlights Chandler's frustration with the continuous delays and McGregor's sporadic appearances. Chandler, known for being a dedicated and consistent fighter, is eager to get back into the octagon and face McGregor. The ongoing feud between these two fighters has fans eagerly anticipating their eventual showdown. Chandler's chances against McGregor remain a topic of debate among MMA enthusiasts. While Chandler is known for his power and wrestling skills, McGregor's striking and unpredictable style always make for an exciting fight. As both fighters continue to exchange barbs, the anticipation builds for when McGregor will fully recover and the matchup can finally take place. For now, fans will have to wait and see how this rivalry unfolds and when they might see these two competitors face off in the cage. As the UFC gears up for what promises to be one of the most spectacular events in its history, fans are eagerly awaiting confirmation of the next featherweight title fight. According to Brian Ortega, the highly anticipated bout between current featherweight champion Ilya Topuria and former champion Max Holloway is already set. Ortega, in an interview with Shaq MMA, mentioned that the Topuria vs Holloway fight is essentially a done deal. 
He stated, I think that fight is already made from what I heard. I could be wrong, but I'm usually not wrong. This potential matchup has the MMA community buzzing, as both fighters are coming off impressive victories and have a significant following. Ilya Topuria recently made headlines by defeating long-reigning champion Alexander Volkanovsky with a devastating knockout, securing his place at the top of the featherweight division. At just 27 years old, Topuria's skill set and popularity, especially among his Spanish fans, make him a compelling figure in the sport. Max Holloway, known for his remarkable endurance and striking ability, has a storied history in the featherweight division. His recent victory at UFC 300, where he knocked out Justin Gaethje in a dramatic finish, further solidified his status as one of the best in the division. While the UFC has yet to officially announce the fight, there is speculation that Topuria and Holloway could face off on September 6 at UFC 306. This event is slated to take place at the Las Vegas Sphere, a state-of-the-art $2.3 billion venue renowned for its visually stunning presentations. The Sphere's unique capabilities could provide a breathtaking backdrop for what many consider a dream matchup. Conor McGregor's withdrawal from UFC 303 due to a broken pinky toe has sparked mixed reactions among fans, with some questioning his decision and others supporting it. Notably, UFC commentator and podcaster Joe Rogan is firmly in the camp supporting McGregor's decision. McGregor has a reputation for fighting through significant injuries. His victory over Chad Mendes with a blown knee is frequently cited as a testament to his toughness. However, the disastrous outcome of his third fight against Dustin Poirier, where he fought despite being warned about micro-fractures in his leg, serves as a cautionary tale. The fight ended with McGregor suffering a severe leg break, which likely influences his current stance on fighting while injured. During the Joe Rogan Experience episode for UFC Saudi Arabia, Rogan defended McGregor's decision to withdraw, emphasizing the potential complications of fighting with a broken pinky toe, especially considering McGregor's fighting style heavily relies on kicks and movement, saying. Look, here's the thing about a broken pinky toe, Rogan explained. When you're a guy who kicks as much as Connor, it's a problem. And it's also the same foot where his leg was snapped, and he went into that fight injured. You gotta be able to get the F out of the way with Michael Chandler, he said, underlining that impaired movement due to a toe injury could severely hinder McGregor's performance. McGregor has stated that he aims to return around August or September once he is fully recovered. However, UFC CEO Dana White has made it clear that no new fight date will be considered until McGregor is completely healed. This cautious approach reflects the UFC's desire to avoid a repeat of past issues where fighters competed while not fully fit, leading to significant injuries. The decision to pull out of UFC 303 has inevitably led to speculation about McGregor's current mental and physical state. Some fans are concerned that this might be the beginning of a prolonged period of uncertainty regarding McGregor's return, while others see Dana White's cautious approach as a necessary measure to ensure McGregor's health and performance when he does come back. UFC CEO Dana White has brought Paige Vanderford back into the spotlight, this time by signing her to compete in Power Slap, a slap fighting competition. She, who previously ventured into bare-knuckle boxing with BKFC, has now added another unique combat sport to her resume. Paige made the announcement on her podcast, confirming rumors that had been circulating after MMA journalists James Lynch and Amy Kaplan hinted at her new venture. Her decision to join Power Slap marks her latest attempt to diversify her fighting career and maintain her presence in the combat sports world. During the UFC Saudi Arabia post-fight press conference, Dana White expressed his excitement about her crossover into Power Slap. He highlighted her as the first significant name to make the jump, indicating his belief that more well-known fighters might follow her path, saying this. You know, I said this would happen.
I said that you're gonna start to see people crossing over into Power Slap, and Paige is the first, the first that everybody knows and has such a big following. Paige herself seemed eager to take on this new challenge, emphasizing her determination to prove her versatility and silence her critics. In her statement, she expressed enthusiasm about participating in Power Slap and relished the opportunity to tackle yet another combat sport and said this. I just signed a contract, and whether like it or not, I am doing Power Slap. I just signed a contract with Power Slap. I was in the UFC, bare knuckle boxing, boxing. Now, I'm doing Power Slap. I'm going to do literally everything and piss everybody off. Paige is set to face Christine Walmerens, who has a 0-1 record in slap fighting, inside the UFC Apex on Friday. This debut will be closely watched, as fans and critics alike are curious to see how she adapts to this unconventional form of combat.